Hi everyone, my name is Vin PF and welcome to No Nonsense Whiskey. Now today on episode 6 of No Nonsense Whiskey Reviews we'll be looking at the Lakes Distillery's offering of the one British blended whiskey. Now we're looking at this today because they're a, a brand new distillery in the uh, in England and they're still storing their barrels um, because you need to have three year aged whiskey to be able to sell it as whiskey. So currently uh, a lot of upstart distilleries who aren't backed heavily by um, big companies like the King's Barnes Distillery for instance who are backed by Weems, um, they will attempt to sort of earn some money in those three years by producing some spirits whether that be sort of gin or vodka or in this case um, a blended whiskey from other distilleries not actually using their own uh, not actually using their own spirits now in this case they've decided to kind of break the mold on that a little bit and um, source whiskies from around the British Isles and blend them together to try and create what uh, they would obviously want their brands to be associated with. I have no idea what they've put into it. Um, I didn't want to know because I thought it would be really nice to kind of get a fresh perspective on it without knowing what's in it, having any kind of pre-connotations. Um, but I immediately can assume because it says on the front here, I don't know if you can see, blended whiskey. Now I assume if it was all full of malts, it would say malt. So um, I can assume there's some grain in there, probably from the Irish side. Now uh, it comes with a little little thing on here, and I actually quite like the tasting notes they provided on here, which is slightly smoky, sweet and fruity, nutty with hints of spice. That doesn't sound like nonsense at all, so that's uh, right up my street. But um, we'll we'll compare that with later when we actually have a taste of it and uh, carry on. Now. Let's open this. I'll, uh, while I'm opening it, I'll say one of the other things that these guys are trying to do to sort of recoup some some money while they're while they're producing whiskey is to essentially pre-sell their spirits. I know some companies like make, uh, sell their new make spirits and things like that, but um, what they're trying to do is like a founders club, um, and it gets you a 70 sill bottle of their whiskey from year three um, and two little miniatures that you can try and you get one of those packs sort of every year for the, the 10 years after they've I think that's actually from now so you're actually going to get their spirit not labeled as whiskey and then once it's three years it'll be a proper whiskey and, uh, and so on for 10 years um, they value that at, at something like 1500 um, it includes sort of annual passes and things like that so tours um, but uh, you can buy it, I think it's like £600 um, for, for 10 years worth of whiskey basically and uh, if it does actually get valued as they say it's valued then that's obviously a bargain, you know, it's like a third. Um, I think they do monthly instalments and things like that but what I'll do is I'll put a link in the description so you can find more information about that. In the meantime let's uh, crack on with the, uh, the tasting and uh, see what we think. Now eagle eyed viewers will notice I've gone for an, a nosing glass today, I don't usually bother with a nosing glass because I kind of wanted these things to kind of feel informal and, and I don't drink from a nosing glass normally so uh, why would I for tasting but I've done it today because I want you guys to get to be able to see the colour properly um, and because one of my regulars told me I should definitely do a nosing glass. Well as you can see it's quite it's quite light, um, quite golden, I don't think they add anything to this uh, and it's got some some good legs on it as well. Let's have a smell. Now, initially, I don't uh, get the smokiness from it. I get the kind of um, caramels and things like that. If you have a look at the back of this, it says uh, sort of sweet and fruity. I definitely get that. This. <laughs> There is a very slight smokiness to it, so I guess the slightly smoky is correct. Alright, uh, I've got a pretty good measure here, so let's uh, give it a taste. Yep, 
yeah, definitely getting that slight smokiness on that. I can't say, I can't say I get the nutty, but um, the rest of it, sweet, fruity, and hints of spice. I'd say that's uh, well on there for the no nonsense. You can really tell that's been blended from across the British Isles as well because it's um, very complex, like it has elements of several whiskies that would ordinarily be on their own, like a smoky whiskey um, and a fruity one, which I, I, I prefer the fruity ones, I must admit, but I'm not adverse to a little bit of smoke. There's quite a strong flavour of alcohol in there. And it's bottled at 40%, but um, you can definitely feel that. I can feel it on my tongue still, I can feel it on the way down. Yeah, that's pretty good. I like that. Um, they're currently selling this for £30 a bottle. Not sure what uh, PMP is like, but you can get it anywhere on the internet for about 30 quid. It maybe costs a little bit more for there's a couple of special editions. Um, I think they've got a couple of fancy cask finishes that um, you can give a go. I'm not sure how that affects the flavour, I haven't had a chance to try that yet. Um, the only thing that's interesting about this is that uh, obviously it doesn't contain any spirit from the distillery itself, so it's, uh, it's not that indicative of what they'll be producing. But uh, that being said, if they produce a whiskey with the kind of care and precision that they've they put into this, um, I can't see it going too wrong. Um, I'll definitely be interested to try some of the spirits they've got for the three years and after and when they finally sell it um, to see how it, it compares, if at all, to something like this. But yeah, I think for £30, you can't go wrong with that at all. Okay, so I think I'm going to enjoy the rest of that off screen. Um, thank you all for watching. I'm going to put um, links below to the Lakes Distillery because they were kind enough to send me a sample of this. Um, you can check out their store and their Founders Club if you're interested in such things. If you'd like to be the first to see new content from myself, you can click here to subscribe to the channel. You can also check out the Lakes Distillery channel just here, that'll take you right to their channel. Um, of course, likes and subscribes, shares and comments are always appreciated and I will see you next time on No Nonsense Whiskey.